how to add or remove clients on your WireGuard server. So before we begin, if you haven't watched my previous video on how to set up WireGuard, please do so. I'll also put the link of the video in the description below. So let's say you wanted to add a friend or a family member to your WireGuard VPN, you would need to generate another user. And to do this, all we need to do is rerun the original script one more time. So if I go back here to my browser and I copy the third command by Angristan, and then I go back to my putty terminal and all I need to do is simply paste it in by right clicking and then hitting enter. Once you've done that you'll get four choices here which says what do you want to do, add a new user, revoke an existing user, uninstall WireGuard or exit. So I want to add a new user so I'm going to press 1 and then hit enter. Once you've done that you need to pick the client's name. So I'm going to be adding my friend John so the client name is going to be John and then hit enter. And then again run with the defaults. So for the IPv4 address just hit enter, for the IPv6 just hit enter again. And there you go. So all I need to do now is give John either this QR code or give him the John configuration files contents. So let's say John doesn't need the QR code because he doesn't need a mobile VPN and he just wants something for his desktop. So all you need to do is type ls and this will list the contents in the root directory. There should be three files, yep. Yeah, so you've got your John configuration file, you've got your websplaining configuration file and the WireGuard installer. So we need to access the contents of the John configuration file. So all I'm going to do is just simply highlight it here and then type cat space and then right click to paste. And then all you need to do is hit enter. And there you go, all you need to do now is copy the contents from interface all the way down to where it says allowed IPs. So let's do that now. And then you just give that to John. Okay, that's how you add a new user. So how do you remove a user? So all you need to do again is run the script one more time. So let's copy the third command again. Go back to our putty terminal, right click to paste it in and then hit enter. And this time we'll be pressing number two to revoke an existing user. So for this example, we're going to remove John's access now. Hit the number two and then hit enter. It will then ask you to select a client. So you have the option to select number one, which is me, or number two, which is John. We want to choose John, so I'm going to press two and then I'm going to hit enter. And just like that, John's access to our private WireGuard VPN has been revoked. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below if this video was helpful, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Also, just a quick plug here, I'll put in my referral code in the description below to my server host of choice, which is Vulture. If you use my referral link, you'll save a bit of money and I'll make a bit of money and we're all winners here. All right, guys, thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.